Hey Pips! Welcome back to Visaya Masterclass 101! Today we'll be learning a few more <laughs> describing words and simple and basic <laughs> phrases. Okay. Okay. So, okay, Nato! So <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Alright, so the first two describing words are wet and dry. So wet in Visaya is basa. Basa. Dry in Visaya is uga. Uga. So here are some uh, exa uh, sentence examples for wet. Your pussy cat is wet. Your pussy cat is basa. And for dry, your pussy cat is uga. Your pussy cat is dry. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna learn the words raw and cooked. <laughs> so raw is hilaw. 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 Raw. And cooked is luto luto so an example for raw is the hot dog is raw the hot dog is hilaw the hot dog is hilaw then so for cooked, the egg is cooked. Past tense, cooked. The egg is cooked. Luto ang egg. The egg. Cook the egg. Luto ang egg. Or itlog. Egg is itlog. Luto ang itlog. <laughs> Alright, so the next two describing words are hot and cold. Hot in Visaya is in it. In it. Cold is bugnaw. Bugnaw. Woo! It's so in it in here. <laughs> but it's so bugnaw in here. <laughs> Okay, so now we are gonna learn how to say eat and drink in a simple sentence. So, I want to drink. I want to drink. I is ako. Remember ako? I ako. Want is gusto. Gusto. That is one. I, ako, gusto, want, drink is inum. Drink, inum. So you say this in a. You, the grammar is. So the proper way to say that is first you start with gusto. Say want. Want, I, Drink so gusto ko then a linking verb mo inum gusto ko mo inum the literal translation is drink I mean me want want I drink that is the literal translation but you say it in Visaya Gusto ko, linking verb, mo inom. Gusto ko mo inom. I want to drink. I want to drink. So it, it, kaon, kaon, kaon. Gusto ko, linking verb, mo kaon. Gusto ko mo 
pagkain. So let's say I have a friend who wants to eat. Let's use the word or address the person as siya. There is no him or her, his or her, in Misaya or Tagalog, I think. Also in Tagalog, there is no him and her. We address the person as siya, as it's like this person, this person. So we will say, this person wants to eat. Gusto she, siya. Gusto siya mo kaon. Gusto siya mo kaon. Gusto siya mo kaon. Gusto siya mo kaon. Say it like this. Gusto siya mo kaon. <laughs> bye bye. Gusto siya mo kaon. Free food. Okay, so the next phrases are take a bath and play. Take a bath in Bisaya is maligo. Maligo. And that is the same also in Tagalog. While play in Bisaya is dula. Dula. Alright, so here are some example sentences uh, for take a bath. Like, let's say, I want to take a bath. Gusto ko maligo. Gusto, want, ko, me, maligo, take a bath. So next we have play or dula. I want to play. Gusto, ko, mudula. Gusto, want, ko, me or I, mo, linking verb, dula, play. Gusto ko modula. Alright? Yes. So now let's learn the word study. Study. Tuun. Tuun. I want to study. Gusto ko mag tuun. Gusto ko mag tuun. So mag is used for present tense, about to happen. Mag. But we will learn that in the next video. Gusto ko mag toon. I want to study. The next one is read. Gusto, I want, gusto ko mo basa. Read is basa. Wet is basa. Read is basa. Wet is basa. Read is basa. Gusto ko mo basa. I want to read. Gusto ko mo basa. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so next we have the words buy and sell. In Bisaya, buy is palit. Palit. And while sell is paligya. Paligya. So here we have examples. I want to buy. Gusto ko mo palit. Gusto ko mo palit. So we have sell, paligya. So an example is, I want to sell this or in Visaya, gusto ko mubaligya ani. So gusto, want, ko, I or me, mu, uh, linking verb, sell, baligya, ani is this, the word this. Uh, you can also say this in Visaya, kani, ani, or ni, depending on uh, your sentence structure. Okay. <laughs> so the next three words is take, give, and receive. Give is hatag, hatag. Take is kuha, 
kuha. Receive is dawat. 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 So, gusto ko muhata. I want to give. Gusto ko muhata. I want to give. Gusto ko mu kuha. I want to take. Gusto ko mu kuha. Kuha take. Gusto ko mu dawat. I want to receive. Gusto ko mu dawat. Okay, so next is go out and go somewhere. So, go out in Visaya is gawas. Gawas. And go somewhere in Visaya is lakaw. Lakaw. So, here are some uh, example sentences for gawas. Let's go out. Gawas ta. And for go somewhere, lakaw. Lakaw ta. Or let's go somewhere. Tara, lakaw ta. Asa. Dito sa mall. Ah, sa mall. Oh. Tara. Tara. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> By the way, lakaw also means walk. So that depends on how you use the word in a sentence. So lakaw can be walk or go somewhere. So the next word is wake up and sleep. Wake up is either pagmata or bukaw. It depends on how you use the sentence. Sleep is tulog. Tulog. Sleep. It is also similar to the word in Tagalog, sleep. Tulog. Tulog. Jekyll. Jekyll. Mata na, mata. Don't poke on me. I still want to tulog. Oh no. Mata na. <laughs> Okay, okay. And the last word for this video is the word prepare. What is prepare in Bisaya? And that is andam. 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 So here are some examples. Uh, I'll use the word in sentences. First, I will prepare drinks. Or I will andam drinks. Okay? Next, I will prepare for work. I will andam for work. Alright? Yes. <laughs> Alright, so that was it for lesson 4 of Bisaya Masterclass 101. So we hope you like this video and we hope to see you again in the next one with Jumaru and Nico. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit like and share. Also, subscribe for more videos. Alright, see you next time. 101. <laughs> 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 <laughs>